Hi everybody, welcome to the channel and welcome to Let's Talk Paint. The custom paint delivery is turned up for the collaboration. So first and foremost, a big thank you to Custom Paints for coming across and joining me with this collab and sending out some of their products so I can give a review for you guys and an application demo on these paints. We're gonna talk about what's on the table a little bit later on, but I just wanna show you some of the products that Custom Paints do on their website. If you're a custom painter or an airbrush artist, check out the website guys, because it is like opening up Pandora's box of tricks. It really is. So I'll just give you a little look now. Enjoy these little clips. I'll see you in a bit. Liquid colours, there's Lumo colours, marble colours, marble effects, passion pearls, prism coats, rainbow XL colours, shadow chromes, spectra effects, sparkle pearls, shimmers, there is everything. There's glow paints, they do clear coats, they do all your consumables, so if you want paint strainers, scotch brights, they do all that. They do standard car colours as well so if you've got like your OEM cars and you need like paint for a BMW, a box or whatever you want these guys can help you out in all the ranges guys so it's well worth looking at the uh, website I've dropped the website link just here so give them a look so a little talk about these paints and what I'm going to be using what we've got on the table so we've got two bottles of the Inspire Candy now this one is pre-mixed so you can use this straight in an airbrush this is their candy colour, so we've got a candy teal and we've got a candy sugar plum. I'll pop a little image up in the screen now. So they're the two colours that we're going to be working with on the project. Good price on these as well. Um, little screw lids on the top. So nice to decant. You've got a little drop pourer in there as well, which is nice because you can just pour it into your airbrush cup, which makes it nice and easy. So you don't get no spillage. So that's the candy. They do a range of candies, I'll pop an image up on the screen now. So they're the colours that they do in the Inspire candy range. You've also got, you've got candy intensifiers. You can get the bigger range of paints and you can also get it in the airbrush quantities as well, which is really good. So you're not gonna buy big, big quantities. A lot of these come down in the smaller quantities and you can buy their paints in aerosol form as well. So they cover for everything, guys. They're covering for like the big guns, spray guns, and if you've not got a big spray gun or an airbrush, you can buy it in a spray can. So they're catered for everyone. So if you wanna get into painting, you've not got to have a big gun or an airbrush, you can use your aerosols if you like using them. So we'll move on to what's base coats we're gonna be using. I've got a black base coat, because we're doing an effect coat over the top. I've got a jet black base, which is a two to one mix, and you mix it with their thinner. They've got a D thinner, so it's two to one for their paint brand. So that's the base coat, that's just a standard black. And then on top of that, this is what I've been looking forward to. I'll just pop an image up in the screen now. This is Chroma Coat. Now, if you don't know what Chroma Coat is, this is like a flip paint. If you've ever seen like the TVRs and things like that, when they go by and the sun hits the TVR and the colour just shifts all round. These are like a shift sort of like flake in the paint. The flamingo shifts from purple, pink, gold and green. So they're the colours that you're going to see in this paint. When you walk round this bike, the colours are just going to change to them colours, which I think is going to look really cool. So I'm itching to try this guy. So hopefully you'll join me in the next video and you'll see the application of this. I'll get some real up close photos of this whole bingo. But they do loads of the Chroma Coat guys. You can get all different varieties of color shifts. Autumn Spice, there's blue, copper, cyan, fireball, flamingo, gold, golden night, green, heather, key lime, peacock, purple. There's an absolute array of colors that you can pick. You can get this in the airbrush bottles this size as well, so you can buy it this way, or you can get it in the aerosol can as well, which is really cool. So like I say, if you're not using big spray guns or you've not got a compressor, you can use an aerosol and you can get these effects down like everybody else with the bigger guns. So that's the Chroma Coat Flamingo. We'll be using that over the black base. I've got two other base coats, which are new. I don't think these are on the website. We've got a base 
metallic black but that's a new version of their base metallic black so that one's going to be interesting to have a look at and we've got base metallic ash black which is another one don't know what these are going to look like i'm not seeing them yet but you'll get to see these paints in the next video we'll move over to the clear coat now i've not used their clear coat before this is their show clear and this is a 2k super clear now we've got the actual clear coat here in the can you mix this with an activator and you can use a thinner with this as well. So this will be my first time using this clear coat. So as I say, join me in the next video when we're doing the bike and finishing the bike off, you'll get to see the clear coat application and we'll see how good this clear coat is. So that's a little insight on the paints. Check out the website guys. It's, as I say, it's got some real good little treats on there. If you're into custom painting and you want to find some of these colors, because it's hard to come across websites that sell certain paints most people like jump onto ebay and things like that and you see all these like cans of candy and you don't know what you're buying but i can honestly say now if you're after candy paints these ones are well worth looking at guys um, and i guarantee the rest of the range will be as well i've heard big hype on the inspire airbrush stuff so i'm itching to try all the inspire paints and probably move over from my water-based that I'm using and go into the Inspire range because I've heard some really good um, comments and reviews on this stuff. So that'll be in some more upcoming videos. I'm gonna do an Inspire range for you guys and you can see them in action. So I hope you've enjoyed this little video on the talk about paint and I hope you can join me in the next one. If you have not seen the previous videos, I've got three videos up and I'll pop them up in the screen now so you can click over and then you can get up to date on this build and then you can join us in part four. So thanks for watching. See you in the build.